drinking the coffee in front of the beach. Oh, and this nice smell of fish and the air. It feels so good. It reminds me to Pichilemu so much. Portugal is a beautiful country, but there is one place that is not only beautiful, it's powerful. We are Fabs and Janina, and in this travel series, we want to see the biggest wave in the world. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, just woke up, got here. Early. I have super sleepy eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we are so happy we made it to Porto. Yes. And yes. we are already waiting for the bus to Nazare. This is not going to be our first time in this town. We were here last summer and I remember we said can't wait for the next trip here to in see winter time. It, it will be the best, the best, the best. It was crazy to know that a place like that exists, but we did not see the 30 meter waves. And here we are in winter time, full of expectations. Nazare. Nazare. <laughs> All the way from Germany to Nazare. And we made it. We made it. Let's get a coffee before. Because Jani, she needs to drink a coffee. I need to start the day with something warm. <laughs> yeah. Like in on the one hand, I'm super excited to be here. But on the other hand, I'm like having a headache and I'm really... Yeah, that's only because you are just sleeping. <laughs> and you need to take a nice coffee. Yes. Yeah. It's sad that the day is super cloudy, but hopefully it gets better. The days are so short, so we are even more limited in time. Yeah. But the sun, it will shine. It will shine when we are going to see that wave. <laughs> Nazare saw a rise in tourism. Hotels, restaurants, and shops spread up, and the once quiet fishing village was transformed into a driven town. Despite the changes, the heart of Nazare remained unchanged. The local fishermen still went out to sea every day, and the town's traditions and culture remained intact. Visitors came not just for the surfing, but also to experience the warm and hospitality of the local people who welcomed them into their homes and lives. And we made it, guys. We are up the hill, super close to the Parol. And the view to the water and the sea from here, it's perfect. The only thing that I don't see many waves right now. I think today probably is not gonna be the day, but you never know yeah. until you get there. So, you know what is that? This is a throne. Yes. What if we ask the guy if we can get his footage? He's flying all over the place this year and yeah. it will be so cool to see his videos, right? Hello, man. Hello. 
and we just saw you flying the drone. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. What's your name again? Ricardo. Ricardo. Okay. I started with the Avata three months ago. Three months yeah, ago. Yeah, but uh, I made a lot of simulator before. So. Okay. If we, we're definitely getting one of those. I'm, <laughs> I'm in love oh post, post production. My God. Okay. Because it is not. Yeah. Okay, Ricardo, we have to say goodbye yeah, yeah. now. Goodbye. Have but a nice one. Really nice to meet you. Yeah. And yeah, I think we're gonna see the footage, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Bye, guys. It's so nice to see the lighthouse. Oh man, we are in the same spot that we came here one year and a half. I never thought that I would be here, not Johnny either. No. So pretty much we made it to the most famous spot here to watch big wave surfing. But this time we can see some lines behind the lighthouse which is really cool because then it means that there are actually waves. <laughs>